Yeah, Sasa ni rasmi kwamba riba wanayotozwa wanafunzi ni kinyume cha sheria. Hii ni baada ya jaji wa mahakama kuu Alfred Mabea kutoa amri hii. Katika kesi iliyowasilishwa mbele yake dhidi ya bodi ya mkopo ya elimu ya juu Helb, Ann Mugure, Davis Ngudu na Wangoi wa Shira waliteta kuwa viwango vya riba na adhabu ni vya juu zaidi na vinakiuka haki zao za kijamii na kiuchumi kama ilivyoainishwa katika katiba ya Kenya. Katika kesi nambari A mbili ya mwaka 2021 ya tarehe 23 Machi mwaka 2021 ilibainika kuwa Bimugure ambaye ni kijana anayeishi na ulemavu alikopa shilingi 1882980 Julai mwaka 2004 kwa riba ya asilimia mbili na kufikia Julai mwaka 2016 deni lake lilikuwa limelimbikiza hadi shilingi el fu 1540464 nguthu naye akakopa shilingi 1146690 mnamo Julai mwaka 2016 ambazo zilifikia shilingi 1335207 kufikia machi 2021 Biwashira naye akakopa 1135 mnamo Julai 2016 ambayo iliongezeka hadi 1336573 kufikia Februari mwaka 2021. Ruth Mulwa ni mmoja wa wale waliofaidika na mkopo kutoka HELB. I'm a beneficiary of uh, uh, HELB since 2010. I started taking help loan when I was doing my undergraduate and from that time I've been uh, repaying my my help continuously uh, to this level I'm I'm still paying but now on a, on a higher level I cleared my undergraduate I also did my postgraduate that is masters and currently I'm uh, I'm repaying my help loan for my certification course Nae Benson anadai kuwa vijana wengi nchini hawana kazi japo wako na mikopo ya HELB. Uh, youth huko nje hawana kazi. Sure. Ama unapata umefanya kazi unapata pesa mingi alafu inakuwa used or sometimes you get some little money and now you also in, again back to debts. Eh pesa ikikuja tena you pay your debts. So hakuna kazi consistent. So ni muhimu tu kupata ku, mtu kuanza from a pay slip hapo mm-hmm. ndipo naona ikiwa mzuri kuanza kulipa help uh, go, uh, bearing the fa- uh, bearing in mind that uh, there is a lot of uh, unemployment in our, in our country yes. so they are supposed to consider that anyone who has not gotten unemployment they are not supposed to be uh, deducted any money or uh, uh, levies uh, put on their loans Whatsoever. What percentage uh, do they deduct from your your help loan? Uh, I believe currently it's 2% but initially it used to be 1% per month. Takwimu za hivi punde kutoka help zinaonyesha kuwa akaunti za mikopo ambazo hazijalipwa kwa sasa ni 1094216 kutoka 1109661 zilizorekodiwa kufikia Februari mwaka huu mikopo ambayo haijalipwa kufikia sasa imefikia bilioni 10.2 I think on my take you're supposed to uh measure and see if a person can actually pay if you're not able to pay and your source of income let's say if, if it's 15000 actually by clearing off that debt and mwambie like where to endelea tuna maisha yako i think it's more going to be of more benefit than kwanza kulipa and then sasa kuimpozia watu interest so why would you do that in the first place it's not a bank you're not trying to get money from people you want to help students mm. and by you wanting to help students don't insist am a start pressuring people to start paying with interest if you want to start your own business don't start depriving people of their own income from their own pockets right now people are struggling sasa ukiambia kulipa help na interest surely it doesn't make any sense we are here to help out people so as the government should also look into that issue na mwache kuwekia watu interests nikiripotia mwanga wa ebro meme ni ode francis